Welcome back, boys and girls. So today is day two of lesson one, and we are still practicing on our short A vowel. So the first routine we're going to do is we're going to read a word, or I'll read the word, and you're going to identify. You're going to tell me the first sound in that word. The word is Dan. Your turn. Dan. Let's tap out Dan. D, A, N. Dan. What's the first sound we hear in the word Dan? D. The next word is nap. Your turn. Nap. Let's tap it out. N, A, P. Nap. What's the first sound we hear in nap? Mm, good job. The next word is man. Your turn. Man. Let's tap out man. M -a -n. What's the first sound we hear in man? Mm. The next word is nat. Your turn. Nat. Tap it out. Mm nat. What's the first sound we hear in the word nat? Mm. Good job. The next word is ran. Your turn. Ran. R -a -n. Ran. What's the first sound we hear in the word ran? R. Good job. Now let's go ahead and review and practice our sounds and letter names. A says A, and it also says A. I need to give you a little bit of time. Thanks, sorry boys and girls. M says mm. S says T says T C says K N says N D says D. P says P. F says Good job, boys and girls. And now we're coming to the part where we're going to put our sounds together to read a word. Sound. S sound. Ah. Put it together. S ah. Sound. T put it together. At word sat sound t sound a put it together t a sound n put it together t an word can sound s sound ah put it together s ah sound d put it together Add. 
word sad sound a ah. sound hmm put it together ah uh, mm. sound d put it together and word and sound s sound ah put it together s ah sound m mm. put it together s an Sound d put it together s a and word sound good job now we're gonna go ahead and read with fluency sa. Tan, sad, and, sand. All right, boys and girls, and now. We will get ready to read a sentence. As I'm writing it, you can go ahead and practice reading it. Perfect. So let's go ahead and start reading with our whisper. Good job, boys and girls. Now let's go ahead and read it with a robot voice. Dan can see the that cat. Good job. And for our third practice of reading, we're going to join and we're going to group the words. Dan can see the fat cat. Good job, boys and girls. So let's go ahead and read it with fluency. Dan can see the fat cat. Good job, boys and girls. And now you will need your writing tool. So that we can, it's called encoding. Encoding is the writing. And if I'm going too fast and you need more time to get your tools, you can always put me on pause. Okay, so we're gonna number one through six. One, two, three, four, five and six. So number one, watch and listen. Ah, your turn. Ah, say it again. Ah, number one, write the letter that represents the ah sound. A represents a. Ah. Your turn. Sound. A. Ah. Number two. The sound is d. Say it with me. D. Your turn. D. Number two. Write the letter that represents d.
D represents D sound. D. Number three is the word Sam. Somebody's name. Say it with me. Sam. Say it again. Sam. Let's tap out the word Sam. S A M. -m. Sam. How many letters in the word Sam? Three letters. Let's go ahead and write the word Sam. And if it helps you to sound out as you're writing the words, you can do that. S-a-m. Word Sam. And if you notice, it's an uppercase because it's somebody's name. It begins with a capital letter. The next word is the word fat. Say it with me. Fat. Your turn. Let's tap out the word fat. At. Fat. How many letters in this word fat? Three. So go ahead and on number four, write the word fat. At. What word? Fat. Number five is the word cap. Say it with me. Cap. Your turn. Good job. Let's go ahead and tap out the sounds in cap. C -a -p. Cap. How many letters in the word cap? Three. And boys and girls, here's another strategy. You might want to put one, two, three lines so that you can remember cap. Cap. Word cap. And number six is our sentence. Dan is Ten. Say it with me. Dan is ten. Say it again. Now let's tap out the words in the sentence. Dan is ten. One more time. Dan is ten. Good job. Go ahead and write the words. Dan is ten. And you can also do the same, but you can make it longer. You say, Dan is ten. So we know there are three words to the sentence. D -a -n. Dan starts with an uppercase. It's somebody's name, plus it's the beginning of a sentence. Is it's a sight word. You can also sound that out. And our finger space, tan. T -a -n. Tan. Oh, we need something at the end. A period, because it is telling us that Dan is tan. So we are going to put a period. All right. And let's go ahead and read the sentence with fluency. Dan is tan. Good job, boys and girls. Have a great rest of the day.